What's up, YouTube? I want to talk about that PlayStation Showcase real quick. I had a couple of days to process what I watched and uh, actually give a what I would think is a, you know, a sound um, impression on what I seen at the uh, showcase the other day. And uh, initially I gave it a seven out of 10. And one of the reasons why is because of the games that I saw. Uh, I wasn't expecting. That kind of surprised me. And it, it definitely put me on a 10 in terms of excitement. One was the Metal Gear. You know, despite the fact that it's coming to multiple platforms, that wasn't really my concern. It was the fact that we were getting another Metal Gear. Well, actually, you know, the remakes of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. So I was excited about that. So um, that and Spider-Man, uh... That was incredible. That showcase um, was incredible. You know, the Spider-Man showcase. So those two things alone really brought it to a seven for me, for me personally. I was disappointed, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I was disappointed at the fact that, um, you know, they hyped up this showcase as if this was like a, you know, a PlayStation exclusive type of thing. And it was more of, you know, a bunch of multi -plats. You know, that's that's the same type of crap Xbox did. And so it's definitely uh, on the level of Xbox in terms of how they overhyped it, you know, the showcase and then they under delivered. You know what I mean? PlayStation don't normally do that. They don't. Uh, I don't recall them ever really overhyping anything, but they definitely hyped this one, especially in the beginning when Jim Ryan was talking about, yeah, we thirty three years into the life cycle. It's time to really show what the PS5 can do. That's essentially what he was saying. This is time to show what the PS5 can do. And then when you see the games, it's like, eh. And then uh, the other problem I got was there was a lot of games as a service. Personally, I hate games as a service. I hate them. I hate them to hell. Damn it to hell, all of them damn service. I hate them. I hate them. You know, people say, eh, bring, bring, bring. no. I don't like them. I think you, you get a couple of hits and, you know, and it's like, man, I, everybody else want to do the same thing. Just stop. You know what I mean? Just stop with the games as a service. Stop it. We don't need that. You know, it's the platforms where you can have that. There's certain games that you can have the games as a service. Every game don't have to be a games as a service. Stop with the games as a service, please. Anyways, uh, speaking of games as a service, I think sports games should be games as a service, really. There should never, like at this point, uh, where we at in gaming, sports games should be a service game. You know, you, you pay a subscription every month, you get new rosters, and then every couple years, you get a whole new refreshed game. That will, that will help out a lot with the gaming. They, it really should. That would be a win for everybody. Publishers, uh, developers and uh, consumers to do it that way then to come out with a new game every year you dump all kinds of money in it only to turn around and do it all over again that's crazy you know what I mean I think I think really publishers could make more money if they went games as a service with those games rather than come out with those games every year but who am I who am I anyways not to get too lost into that part of it because I could go on for days about it um they totally underdelivered. PlayStation did, and I was disappointed because I was I, I was expecting to be blown away. I was expecting to be blown away, and I wasn't. I was surprised, but I wasn't blown away. So, um, with that being said, I probably won't get my my hopes up, or, or not not even my hopes up. I probably won't be excited or hyped up for another showcase like that for a while, like. Uh, after the last couple of state of plays, which I understand the, it's a different level, uh, but all of that stuff, I, I just, I can't anymore. You know, I'm just going to take it as it comes. That's how I'm going to do it. Now, as far as the Spider-Man, holy hell, that was amazing. I am excited for that game. That game automatically looks beautiful. Shit was looking beautiful on PS4. I mean... PS5, I'm sure it's going to look better in a lot of ways. So that part of it is for, in terms of visuals, I'm, you know, I'm satisfied with. You know what I mean? Um, but the gameplay, the new, the wingsuit, bro, you, you gliding? You glide with Miles and what Spider-Man look like? Bro, come on, man. Come on. 
the combat was already already phenomenal. You know what I mean? Spider-Man Miles Morales in the first Spider-Man was freaking incredible. So I, 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 my expectations would have been high had I not seen anything. But seeing that gameplay reveal made me love it even more. Especially what really got me was how Miles launched when he when he when he had his webs on those two uh looked like they were uh light poles or something and he sprung himself. Damn! That shit right there had me. I was like, man, that shit looks so cool. Like I would probably take off every time like that. Like I would look for two light poles just to do that with because that shit just looks so cool. But anyways, I'm excited. That Spider-Man reveal was freaking phenomenal. And 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 the uh and uh the the Metal Gear Solid uh reveal surprised me. Well the CGI, the announcement I would say, surprised me. What I'm hoping though for that Metal Gear, I'm hoping it's not no just a, a, a HD update. I hope it's a freaking built from the ground up joint. You know what I mean? A remake, not a remaster. So I hope it's a remake. So we'll see about that too. That's going to be amazing if it's a remake. Please, God, let it be a remake. If anybody knows if it's going to be a remake, please throw it in the comment section. I'm looking forward to that too. But all in all, I'll keep it at a seven. I'll keep the PlayStation Showcase at a seven uh, just because of those two things alone. All of those games as a service can go to hell. You know, to hell with games as a service. That's where I stand on that. Nothing to change that. You know, and uh, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to share my thoughts real quick on the stuff, man. It was, it was told, it was definitely an L because of how they hyped, uh, how they hyped it. They definitely hyped it, and uh, the way Jim Ryan was talking about some, yeah, let me show you what the PS5 can do, and he didn't show you shit the PS5 can do. It's like, oh man, I'm still, I'm kind of, I'm still kind of in a lot of ways waiting on next gen to happen. I'm just gonna say that. Right there. I'm still waiting on next gen to happen. And next gen ain't really happened for me yet. What I, next gen for me is when your face melt. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start another video talking about next gen. And I'll be right back. But anyways, on the showcase, still 7 out of 10. PlayStation disappointed me. Uh, and I'm not going to get my uh, get excited for another showcase. I'm just going to take it as it comes. So I can I can gracefully enjoy uh, the 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 showcases from here on out. I'm not hyping up nothing like I did. I'm not doing none of that. Anyways, Rome, I'm gone.